published, 1730 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 28th of July 2018, updated, 1730 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 28th of July 2018 for Alexander Lacazette. France's World Cup triumph was a bittersweet experience, the Arsenal forward was part of the squad during qualifying but during a dismal winter, his form fell off a cliff and his season was interrupted by minor knee surgery. By the time he recovered form and fitness in the spring, he had fallen out of Didier Deschamps World Cup thinking. Alexander Lacazette endured a bittersweet experience during the World Cup after missing out. He was talking to the guys on WhatsApp during the World Cup because they are my friends, says the Arsenal striker. It was hard at first because I was sad. I was disappointed not to be in the team, but after that, when you know you will not be part of the adventure, you just have to be with them. I'm still happy because it's my country. Lacazette joined Arsenal in a club record £52 million transfer last summer but after scoring four goals in his first six Premier League appearances, he gradually lost his way as the temperatures dropped. He scored only one goal between December 2nd and April 1st despite 11 starts during that time. In January Arsenal broke their transfer record again to sign Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang from Borussia Dortmund. Alexis Sanchez and Olivier Giroud left but Aubameyang's arrival raised questions over Lacazette's position. Lacazette has also insisted he can play alongside teammate Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang the forward bristles. I never said it was bad for me, only people in the press said it was bad. I was happy because I knew I could play with him. I didn't see him as a rival more than a teammate, so since the beginning I was happy about his signature. Under Arsene Wenger, the pair started only three matches together but they have developed a bond off the field and new coach Unai Emery is trying a system with Lacazette playing as the main striker while Aubameyang cuts in from the left wing in a 4-3-3 formation. Their blossoming friendship was shown in April when Aubameyang gave up the chance of a hat-trick so Lacazette could score a goal and end his goal drought. In an interview with L'Equipe this summer, Lacazette reflected, At night, I would go home and repeat to myself, Come on, next time it'll go in. But it wasn't. Suddenly, I started asking myself, How long has it been since I last scored a goal? It started to bother me. It got to my head, he showed his ability in front of goal as he scored against a young PSG side in Singapore. He had heard how Alvaro Morata changed his boots, hairstyle and even his car to end a barren run while playing for Juventus. Lacazette smiles. Sometimes you can do everything but it's only about a little bit of luck. It has finished. Last season is in the past. When I didn't score, of course I was frustrated but I've learned and now I am happy to start a new campaign, I'm more ready. The difference is in the power. Defenders in general are stronger than in France. Referees are less strict. Teams like to play low and counterattack more. His challenge now is to rediscover the form that powered his 37-goal campaign in his final year in Lyon. He showed glimpses of that on Saturday, scoring twice during Arsenal's 5-1 friendly victory over Paris Saint-Germain. I don't care how people can judge me, he says. I know if I stay in Arsenal, the club is happy and my teammates as well. This is the most important thing, he believes he is more ready to perform for the North London side ahead of his second season.